thought I'd uh, just show how you can tell where all the deep scratches are as you're flatting. See the uh, darker lines? That's where the deep scratches are. So, as we're going along, we'll be looking to see where them scratches are and remove them. You can see they stand out quite badly when you start flatting. Uh, it should look a million dollars once it's uh, done. I'm not going to over uh, flat it. I just want it to sort of match the rest of the vehicle. But since the uh, spoiler on a Porsche is the most prominent feature, we want it to look nice. But I just thought I'd show you know the stuff that you can't normally see really well on you know filming but um, the black bit uh, where it's deep right then I'm going to crack on see you soon This is just some of the third stage of polishing to get the flatting marks out. But we started to get the gloss coming through and the final flatting marks have been removed. 
and then once this stage is finished it will have one more really just to enhance more gloss but it is coming up quite nice still a bit more orange peely than I'd have hoped for but it still looks a hundred times better than uh, how it did before I mean you, you know it was it was terrible but um, all the scratches have gone the deep scratches managed to get all them out with the flatty um, like I say I could have gone a bit more but it still looks a million dollars so anyway I'm going to crack on get this stage finished and then I could do the final stage to enhance the gloss a bit more so I'll see you in a minute this bit of polishing on this uh, rear panel I'm going to show you the this is an oscillating or orbital polisher to get the pad to do the work you know you haven't got to push it about as fast as you can because that pad and the polishing itself does the work all you've got to do is let the pad do enough work so this is the way I do it I'm not saying it's how everybody does it but it's about the speed that you use the pad you can get twice as much work by not going so fast so here we go Now with that set done, and as you can see, the oil started spinning out of uh, the polishing pad, which means it's broke the polish down as much as it wants to. So we we'll just give it a nice little light polish off, and then have a look at the results and see if the scratches have disappeared. And they have so with one set letting the polisher rotate and do its work you're letting the polisher cut more as if you move it fast then obviously the pads moving away from the area you want to polish 
So by doing it slow, you get complete coverage and more cut. And basically, I'll just give this another set, which helps with the final set, which will bring the gloss up. But for all intents and purposes, I've got out the damage that I wanted it to get out. So just thought I'd show a, a short bit. But, you know, I'm not gonna let you watch me do the whole car. It takes for hours. So there you have it. I'll, um, I'll do some more as I go around the car. I'll see you later. I'm using 2000 grit for the initial knocking down of the orange peel. I'll then move on to 2500 and then I'll finish it off with 3000 grit before I start polishing. Um, you can see I've got my thumb so that I don't go too close to this edge because we don't want to take paint off the edge. And I'm using these fingers to keep me out of the valley here. So, although it looks like we are just rubbing away, we are trying to control where we are flatting. So, I'll keep wiping down so I can see if the orange peel is getting flat. So, it's just a case of just keep working along slowly. There's no rush, you know, we want to get it right and uh, we don't want to make a mess anywhere uh, by going through the edges so you know we take great care while we're flatting you know it's not just random so there we have it i'll um, show you a bit later when we've done some okay well using 2500 2000 and 3000 grit flatting paper you can now see even by the reflection through the uh, flatted panel the, the distortion in the light is, uh, is much crisper so we're going to start the polishing now and um, I'm protecting this top edge of the swage line because obviously I'm going to be having the mop go up here and I don't want to burn through that edge so I've made sure that's protected and now I'm going to start polishing it and um, it should look miles better when it's finished so there we are and uh, I'll show you it again later bye And there's the results of a couple of hours work.
personally, I think it's uh, transformed the car. Because your eye kept going to the rubbish finish rather than looking at the rest of the car. Lovely. Right, let's carry on. I'll see you later.